Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where I have just made a stunning discovery in the CRISPR! I was checking, just out of curiosity, friends, how long it would actually take to go ahead and possibly clone ourselves up a wolf, a brand new wolf, so that we can try to unlock five variants of them ASAP, in the hopes of being able to make a whole bunch of amazing spliced wolf hybrids, which I am positive would make us an extremely popular zoo. And to my shock, you guys, it's only two days. All right, we are definitely going to go ahead and confirm that. I think the first variant of all of the different animals only take like a couple days to make, perhaps. So with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and clone ourselves a wolf, pat ourselves on the back, and continue to expand our zoo. And I did a little bit of research, my friends, to try to figure out what it would take to go ahead and start making a lot of money. The answer is getting more people into the zoo. How do we get more people into the zoo? Well, we need better. We need better buses and I think we even need more buses. Um, and I also need to like clean some things up. We need to make sure that people have ways to go ahead and spend all of their money here with us. There's a lot to cover. Also, one of the most important things for making people be attracted to come to your zoo is variety of animals. And the different variants of the animals count as having high variety. So the fact that we have this huge variety idea variants in snakes, really great thing. If that matters more than having all of one kind of animal. So the fact that I love having like my geese over here, that's great. But because there's basically more or less the same types of geese, then that's not going to attract the visitors as much as if I had one of all of the 10 different types of geese. So I'm going to remember that and we might even make like hallmark areas where like I'll keep one of each variant once we unlock the variants. That might be something we work on in the future. Uh, so that's definitely a potential project we might cover. Uh, oh, and we have a, a funky platypus. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I've got to send my sister another picture of that. She'll love it. Uh, but variants also count for the things that we have spliced. So the animals that are spliced will actually count as their own unique variant. And that raises the diversity ratings of animals in your zoo and makes it more attractive to people to come and see what's going on in your zoo. Also, so this is this is such a mess in here <laughs> it's such a painful mess oh my gosh we definitely need to like clean this up and do something with it because this is ridiculous uh, all right well anyway friends let's go ahead and start tidying up some spots i'm trying to figure out which thing we're going to focus on next i think it's going to be arctic so i think we are going to go ahead and we are actually going to make a arctic extension where we are going to formulate a path, maybe even get rid of our little cotton candy shop because I think it's only made seven visitors. Well, maybe we'll move the cotton candy shop like down here <laughs> and then we'll make a path coming up through here so that we can have a spot for the polar bears and the penguins that we can actually trade for right now with our little baby donkey and a tapir. So I think polar bears and penguins will be the next goal. Having a little path that kind of cuts through all of these things as well. And how's my warehouse doing? Is my warehouse actually like, it's got a bunch of carrots. It's got a bunch of milk and eggs. I wonder if I'm using that milk in anything. <laughs> I should probably go ahead and check at some point. Uh, but yeah, once we get the polar bear and once we get the penguin out of the way, then we will hopefully unlock even more trades and we can get ourselves a little bit closer to being able to find where my giraffe is. Because, oh, oh, that's a new type of panda. We're on it. Because that's what I really, really want, you guys, is I really want to be able to have my, my beloved precious giraffe. That's one of the big things I'm after. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, Let's snag an Arctic area. And I'm just gonna like knock out a big zone because the polar bears are gonna need something quite large. I'm gonna be a little mindful of the fact I might wanna make some spots for, hmm, for the guest and maybe like a subway over here. I might put a subway up here actually, that's a good idea. Okay, so boom, that's gonna be one Arctic spot. And then we'll put in the ice subway 
right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it just straight right there. So whoever is going to maintain the polar bear habitat can just pop straight out of the subway right over here, start maintaining it. And then I'm going to put the other enclosure for the penguins. We'll separate with a line of trees for the penguins. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a spot separated for the penguins so that they've got a little bit of space from the hyena. I never thought I would be debating putting hyena and penguins next to each other. But I think what I might do, hmm, actually now that I'm looking at it, I might clear this space away a little bit. Instead of having a path come up, we'll just have a subway system, kind of like we have with our wolves now. And then I'm going to move a bunch of these. And maybe we'll put the new, let's see, move this. Maybe what we'll do is we will put the new um, gift shop over here because I think that would look really good. All right, and I really want to try out that new gift shop. Why is it so dark? Can't see anything. Hmm, should I have a restroom? We'll play with that. Facilities, no, it's shop. And I want the cute new gift shop that has the hats. Oh my gosh, this is huge. <laughs> All right, this might be a gigantic mistake. This is actually huge. An additional way for visitors to spend their money. Let's actually grab the Coco Cafe. That is a much better option for this spot. We're gonna put the Coco Cafe over here. Hoyt is here. Sir, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to fire you. I'm very sorry, but I need staff to have somewhat better work ethic. Like this person, level 13, she has a little penguin hat on. Let's see, level 19, great work ethic. Level 24, decent work ethic. Uh, 26, I think 26 Samuel is gonna work and we'll just hire him. Oh my gosh, that's really cute actually. I'm glad we picked that one and I think I'm gonna, I, I absolutely wanna put that giant hat shop in, <laughs> but I think we need to be somewhat discerning about where we locate it, just saying. All right, let me move this tree out of the way and then we'll go ahead and have our penguins right over here. Yeah, penguins right over here. I'm gonna move this vine tree Aha, the vine tree was hiding that, okay. Well, I could still move the vine tree over this side. And we can move this up a little bit. Excellent, we can make all of this work, guys. It's a chaotic mess in some regards, but I truly do believe we can make all of this work and make it look nice. Even if it does seem a little bit cattywampus. Hmm. And then we can do this. That makes a decent sized spot. And we could just kind of have like a little hallway for penguin observation that people can come down and they can come and shop at this little cafe spot and we'll decorate all the penguin post. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. People are gonna have to walk past the penguin post when they get here so they can figure out like where they're going. Oh, that's adorable. All right, I will sacrifice a few of the more practical things. A snow lion. Oh, that's not gonna fit anywhere. I guess I could fit it right over here. All right, snow lion, you win. You're too cool. I need, like, haha, <laughs> literally, because it's like, you know, a snow lion. Oh, all right, fine. Scooch that tree back one. And we'll check in on, like, what we can buy with our points in just a second. I love the zoo. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, people could walk past all of these like big decoration pieces. Um, and then maybe some fun nature pieces and blue grass. Okay, the blue grass is actually really awesome. Just saying. And do I have any other? I have some Arctic things we could decorate with. All right, and then we'll do a floor tile of this blue. It looks kind of icy. Very nice, very nice. We'll put it down over here. People can come, we maybe will put in some chairs over in this spot so people can come relax. I'll line under the edges. 
with ice. There we go. It looks a little bit like snow. That could benefit us. Alright. I like that. And actually, I think there is a snow... Yeah, snow patch overlay. That I will cover everything up with. And make a cute little trail. So you walk on the snow. That's so cute. You can't tell me that's not cute because it's cute. All right. There. Adorable. I'll even have a line right there. All right. So we have now made a good spot for the polar bears and the penguins to go. Pretty happy about this because that's going to add like two variants to our zoo, which is going to be fantastic. Let me come over and we're going to hire a new animal keeper. We have 24 of them. We're going to just always be hiring animal keepers. I have accepted that. Nobody with bad work ethic though. Shoo. Shoo, 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 shoo. All right. Good work ethic. Level 18. There's your salary, sir. Maybe I could be more discerning with that, but I like I like seeing people who are just excited to come and help out, you know? All right, and then Nathaniel, you're gonna be in charge of these areas. That might be a big job for him. We'll have to find out. Meanwhile, transport. <laughs> only 15% of the people, only 6% of the people from Old Pines are able to make it because of our buses. We need to upgrade our buses. That's gonna be the next thing I'm going to go ahead and spend our big points on. Uh, all right, meanwhile, let's go ahead and go to, to Pierre. That seems like a unusual variant of Tapir. So I'm gonna adopt this Tapir as well. There we go. Who's this? Panda? Oh, maybe it's a panda from our breeding program. Oh, I don't know. What? Why do I not have any pandas in here? I feel like I should be breeding pandas. That seems somewhat like important to do. I don't have enough pandas. All right, let's breed some pandas. All right, wait, did I confirm that? Ah, maybe that's what happened. All right, ooh, we actually have a panda. Okay, I can go ahead and try to breed for the new type of panda. Good luck, you guys. All right, and let's confirm the trades for the goose for two polar bears. All right, Dickens, thank you very much. Yay, we got a bonus polar bear. We hope you like polar bears, as I like uh, Plimi. But wait, do not eat. Polar bear is looking for after, not for eating. It's for looking after, not for eating. And exactly. Oh my gosh, and with just three animals, we do not have enough space in here. I'm probably gonna need to move like all of our buildings again. I would rather do that now than have big regrets later though. And then for our Tapir for the penguins from Toronto Zoo. You know why penguins are always behind glass at zoo? Because they smell really, really bad. They're like the skunk of the Arctic and they never stop smelling bad. So you want some? Okay, that was actually really true. <laughs> We're gonna trade out Josie, the 92 year old penguin, and we get two female penguins. Good luck washing the penguin smell off your clothes at night in exchange for this spot Woo! so we're gonna have polar bears and penguins added in soon i am personally delighted about this series of events uh we are probably going to edit the enclosure to be a little bit bigger for the polar bears because otherwise things are going to get kind of tricky all right is this as big as it can go yes right there right there Excellent. We'll tidy this up uh, and try to make it look somewhat nice. I'm going to need to move all my staff up again, but that's fine. I have to revamp so much about this because it's just piecemeal together chaos. <laughs> but it's our piecemeal together chaos. And soon we're going to have new animals in it. Woo! All right. So let me cross off polar bear for the goose trade and penguins for the tapir trade. So now we have the ostriches we can get with the donkey. We are trying to breed a special variant of pear, or not pear, bear, sorry about that. Let's see, all right, our tapir, we're gonna go ahead and return the tapir. We have breeding pears. Do I have a pregnant bear here? Gretchen is not pregnant, unfortunately, but she might have the baby bear we are looking for. So let me see, do I have the right bears? All right, confirm. So we have the bears trying to breed so we can get the armadillos out of the way. Uh, can I get two groups of those? 
Ooh, I can! Alright, so now we have, uh, whoa! Woo! There, we can trade one of our baby camels? Oh my gosh, okay, so now I actually have, like, a lot of bears. <gasps> we have the new bear variant! I don't know how that happened. I guess everybody was already pregnant or something? Both of them are expecting? What? Both of them are expecting the special type of bear. That almost felt like a glitch. That just happened so fast. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, that's very exciting. Speaking of bears, though, before our new bears get in here, I need to come in and fix the polar bear area. And I'm going to fix the whole area behind it as well. There we go. So we've got the blue stone down. Now let me get the snow down because it looks so nice. There. And then we'll fill it with a bunch of trees and a few lights to try to make sure that this place lights up at night. Uh, so maybe the white lamps because that looks kind of cool. But the triple lamp looks really cool. So I think we're going to go with the triple lamp right here. And then maybe like a triple lamp over here. I want people to be able to see the bears. And there's only like this little section that they can see the bears at right now. So maybe I'll put another triple lamp. Gas lamp? Hmm. Floor lights, of course! All right, we'll put a couple floor lights over here. And then we'll have to see if guests can walk across the floor lights. I don't know if they can, but I would really love it if they could. Uh, and then decorations, we could put an owl clock. I wish I had more small decorations. All right, let's put down some more trees to make this area look nice before it is too late. Summer pine. There we go. CO2 levels going up, which I am super happy. Or like the CO2 levels going down, I should say. <laughs> uh, not up. I would be very unhappy if they were going up. All right. And then can I put in some of this bluegrass? The bluegrass is just very pretty. And then maybe a little bit of arctic bush. Well, that actually looks really nice. All right, I'll put a couple arctic bushes over there and maybe one bluegrass out. There we go. And I wish that you could stay like hovered or like copy the things that you see. All right, I want a cute little winter sprout. Boom. That should get the decoration for this area really high. I think if I go ahead and I just put down like some basic lamps for my workers, that will actually count as lighting up the square area. So I'm going to sprinkle some lamps like over here. <laughs> I hate this worker zone. We just need to get more money so that I can like clear things out there. Let's add in objects for our animals. We have an igloo shelter, which I think would actually be really cute to just kind of put somewhere in the middle. Hmm, I think I'll put it like back here. And then I'm gonna wanna add in enrichment. Let's get the polar bears a trampoline that people can watch them jump on. I think that'd be fun. And let's give them some cliffs they can climb. Yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah, we'll have a couple piles of cliffs that the polar bears can frolic upon. And then we'll give them some big balls that look kind of like snowballs that they can go ahead and play with. And hide a scent marker or two here and there that they can go ahead and sniff at. Very nice, very nice. And I wonder if a variety of like the the toys is what does it. Cause I have so many toys for some of our animals and the guests are still like, oh, they're so bored. They're gonna die of boredom. And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> I've given them so much. I don't know what more to put in. Uh, but for polar bears, <laughs> let's put in a bit of a lake. Cause polar bears in swimming are very important. There we go. And look at the icebergs we've got. What? That's so cool. So that's what we unlocked when, oh, and an ice arc, <gasps> arch, oh, that's even cooler. Forget the iceberg. Oh my gosh. 
Can I like grab that iceberg? I can. All right, we're gonna remove that iceberg and we're gonna put in an ice arch because that is just awesome. All right, water deco. Is the ice arch like the coolest thing we got right now? It totally is. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And then we'll add in a few floating crates, I think. Okay, fit in another iceberg. I cannot, but one day we will have a bigger polar bear area. All right, so there's for our polar bears. And then let's get a cute little ice shelter down for our adorable penguins. Oh, and water. <laughs> gonna need water for them as well. Polar bears are gonna need a water spot. All right, let's add in water here. And we already have a keeper who should come and take good care of them. Phew, all right. I wanna see penguins jumping onto trampoline. <laughs> That's actually very, very, very much what I wanna see with my life. So we're gonna put in a penguin trampoline. And I think we'll just let them have ice rather than give them, uh, and maybe ice and cliffs if I can sneak in a cliff spot. Yeah. So they're gonna have ice and cliffs. Hi guys! Oh, they're so cute, you guys! I love them! We'll get to the next day so we can see them better in just a second. Um, and then maybe a little tug rope. And then I'm gonna give them a few balls to play with. The little cute pink ones, oh my gosh. I'm so happy about this. All right, and we have our polar bears who we need to get some water to. Okay, that's gonna be like priority numero right now. Um, where, oh, where is our water stored? Is that under, it's under amenities. Boom. And then let's give them some water. All right, I'm sure we can get this down in time. Boom, all right, there we go. And they're playing with everything. Oh, they're so cute. Hello, little ones. I'll try to add in some decorations for you guys. They've got big old bushes. Woo, and there we go. So there's the end of the day. And we'll come around to the next day so we can see what the penguins think about life. Maybe I can give them like a little bit of lavender. What would look really cute over here? Leafy fern, mushrooms, blue grass? Nah. Hmm. Penguins are so cute. The crisper like flower looks kind of cool, but maybe we'll give them a bush. We'll give them just a nice bush. I think that seems good. Yay! All right, and the penguins have a little bit of penguin feed. The polar bears have a little bit of polar bear stuff. Uh, let me decorate their spot just a little bit. Just with a couple trees. Nothing too fancy. Especially because anything too fancy is going to block everything from being able to be used. Uh, and actually, let's view. I think the car tire is blocking everything. All right, there we go. There! Yay! So now we have polar bears and we have penguins, which means if we check, we should now have a whole bunch of new areas to look at. And hopefully our guests, or like a whole bunch of new trades to have. And hopefully our guests will clue in to the fact that like we've got this awesome area and they'll start coming in. If they don't, we will go ahead and create a path into here, but I'm hoping the subway alone would just be enough to attract them. Kind of like how it's done for some of the wolf area. We just opened. Don't, don't, don't worry. I'm sure it's just because we just opened the, the zoo. We'll get more people in here soon. <laughs> oh, but all right, guys, let's go ahead and check out the final trades that we can now do. <gasps> Cuba has opened and they've got lemurs. Woo! So we now can trade lemurs. Uh, if we get a wolf variant, we can trade for walruses. Let's see. We can still do the ostriches. Still do the armadillos. Let's see. Panthers are waiting. Oh, if we get a lemur, we get elephants. What? Oh my gosh, we could have elephants, you guys. Okay, and then we're still searching for beavers. <laughs> we still do not have beavers. Oh my goodness. All right, we're making progress. Slowly but surely, we are making progress and adding more and more animals to the zoo. But now that we have made it to half a million dollars again, I do want to start raising ticket prices. I want to start bringing more diversity up. I think every new animal we add in, I'm going to increase at least a dollar of ticket price because people who purchase the ticket 
or like the vast majority of the people who want to come visit. So that's good. We just need to make it so more people can come visit and that's going to be the goal for next time. Also to handle my goose overpopulation problem. Whoops. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me as we continue to slowly but surely expand this chaotic experience of running a zoo. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!